think you're special, you do, I can see it in your eyes, I can see it when you laugh at me, look down on me, and walk around on me, just walk Some people think I'm a superhero, <laughs> but I'm not, except for my wife. And I'm telling you why. A few weeks ago, in my house, something terrible happened. As I was playing with my kids in the living room, I heard my wife screaming, and I knew it was something serious. And I stopped everything I was doing, and I ran as fast as I could to reach her. When I arrived, I was shocked to see my wife absolutely petrified, standing on the top of the toilet. As I looked down, I saw this tiny, tiny, tiny spider. <laughs> Since that moment, I made a point to myself. I was on a mission to save the spider from my wife. <laughs> I carried the little spider with compassion and I let her go into a safer place. So we all have fear, like my wife and the spider. What is our relationship with fear? How we can affect our decision and what could we make with it? Could we make something with it, sorry. I'm Sébastien Foucault, the founder of Free Running, and I'm going to take you on a journey of understanding and overcoming the obstacle of fear. Have you ever experienced fear? Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel? Afraid. Afraid? <laughs> yeah, sick, paralyzing. Something fear is justified, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes Fear is, uh, can be a good thing, and sometimes it can be a bad thing. Uh, it can be a, a good thing when it's preventing you to go to a dangerous place. And I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, it can be also a bad thing when it's stopping you to grow. What is my fear? I've got a revelation. I've got vertigo, and I'm afraid of height. Yeah, I'm serious. And I always had. Each time I'm on a rooftop, it's a, for me, it's a, 
it's a real effort for me. But unfortunately, the things I love the most is associated with jumping roof to roof. And the reality, you don't have, you don't have to be there to appreciate how to express yourself in your environment. That's the beauty of my discipline. I, trust, I try as much as I can to not go on a rooftop because that's a place I've, I felt the less comfortable. I used to struggle a lot with it and I start to think what's wrong with me. One day I watched a movie where there is a master talking to his student, student and he says, we all have our demons and it, they can take many forms. It can be called fear, hatred, or anger. If you don't beat them, a day of a, a million years, or t 100 years, sorry, million, it's okay, can be a tragedy. But if you beat them, a day of, a life of one day can be a celebration. And that's word really clicked to me, something resonated to me in that word. And I decided to be on a quest to overcome my own fear. It took me a lot of, a lot of time, introspection and a lot of practice to, to overcome my own fear. And slowly something started to work. And people started to recognize in me some attributes that I've never experienced, bravery. I didn't know, but each time I've done something, it was building something for my future. It was preparing me for the next step. And I believe it's the same for you. What is the effect of not overcoming fear? If you hide yourself behind your doubt and your fear, no one will see you. If you don't overcome, you won't become. In 2006, I had this phone call for Aeon Production and uh, they want me to play a character in a James Bond movie, Casino Royale. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> I remember the first time I met Barbara Broccoli and uh, uh, the producer and she said to me, we would like you to play a character in our movie. Are you interested in it? Uh, are you interested in it? I just, I was absolutely uh, speechless. And for me, it, I should just say yes, because it's just fantastic. And uh, it was unreal to be part of, uh, to be cast for, to play a villain in a James Bond movie. Uh, then she bring me to another room and she say, by the way, are you afraid of height? <laughs> do you think you can do something in our constru construction site? Then she showed me a model, a small structure of of the location where the filming will take place. And I, I discovered for the first time the, the, cr the girder and the, cr and the two crane. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to hide my surprise seeing the location and realizing what I'm gonna do. I was in between the, how can I say, the excitement of being in a James Bond movie and the other hand thinking what the hell I'm gonna do in this place higher and thinner than I've ever been. I knew deep inside that I couldn't let my fear uh, uh, dictate my life like we shouldn't and uh, I decided to go on that journey. It was, it was a real opportunity for me to test, to, to overcome uh, my weaknesses. That was, to be honest, the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Working on this crane, climbing the structure every day, and telling myself, yes, I can do it. And after so much work, I made it. And now I know if you're not facing your fear, you won't progress. The journey of three months of working on a crane and climbing this, this structure truly changed myself. 
uh, in a way of, I knew how to concentrate myself to, to take the best heart of, of me. And to tr also to trust the equipment, because when I practice, I practice on my own. And uh, I work with the stunt, the stunt team, and I need to trust the equipment. To trust the team, because it's a team effort, and also to trust myself. That was a challenge for me. Since that experience, I always encourage to go beyond that barrier of fear and not staying in a safe place. Because you will stop the opportunities that can come to you. I still have fear, and I'm still afraid of high building. But without overcoming those obstacles, I will never have done this chase sequence. If you don't overcome, you won't become. You need to understand your fear. You need to go there. You need to build an intimacy to analyze it, to know where it's come from and overcome it, to become better, to evolve. If you don't overcome, you won't become. You have to face your fear. Have you ever felt you've got a decision you make in your life, but you're scared to fail? I see some people smile. <laughs> Yeah, in every action there is a risk to take and accept. That's what brings fear. When a baby bird reaches a certain age, he has to take his first fly, and it must be scary. But it's only one way to go. It can, it can die in trying or die staying. This analogy works for us. Yes, in life, you can fail trying, but also you can feel dying by staying in a certain place. Everyone struggle. Raise your hand if you ever experienced that. Yes. <laughs> I believe if you want to fly in your life, good analogy, you have to choose between struggling in doing and struggling not doing. If you decide to go on a journey, you have to prepare yourself, because I believe preparation is everything. So let me tell you what is my preparation to overcome fear. First point, I make sure I realize fear is a perception and is a point of view. Let me tell you why. Do you think what I'm doing is scary? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Who thinks taking the plane is scary? Yeah? Could you raise your hand? Who's thinking? Okay. Some people think it is, some people don't. But you're both right. Because for me, it's a, point of, it's a point of view. The difference is where you put your attention hat. So when I'm facing my fear, I work on where I put my focus on. I directed it to a point, a point of view that I choose. That's, that's my secret. For example, when I was standing on a girder and I have a jump to do, it's very simple. It requires practice, but I focus on exactly what I have to do and where I need it to go. And that's how it works for me. There are risks everywhere, but it's a different regarding who you are. For example, if you are someone who studies spider, and you and you and you see you see some. It's fantastic to to see a spider, but not for my wife. <laughs> the second point: fear is not knowing, and is and is also uncomfortable feeling. That's why I always analyze it, and I try to not go away. By spending hours on a crane, I started to know how it was made, as if it was my own house. And I'm by climbing up and down every day, I started to feel more comfortable with the structure. Imagination is also involved. There is two types of people. There is people who always see the, the good things, and there is other people who always see the worst case scenario. And I always say you have to make sure your imagination is on a good side. 
You need also to, also to, need to have the right attitude. You have to do the first, the first step, go and see, and see how far you can go, which is very important. You have to respect the progression, which I call like the step-by-step -step progression. Don't rush, don't push, and feel comfortable, which is very important. Fear can be overcome with practice. If you want to take an action where risk is involved and you have to face your fear, think before. What is it you're risking? Why you're doing this? And how is your ability to stay focused? In action, as in life, if you've got a real great purpose, if you, if you have a strong focus and a determination, and you go there as, he, as if you've got nothing to lose, nothing can resist you. I'm really aware of my fear, so make sure you're aware of yours. Fear is our best friend as our worst enemy. Remember, fear is a perception and a point of view. Fear is linked with imagination, and fear can be overcome with practice. Do not think it is safe out there. Do not think it is dangerous out there. Just follow your way. Just be less afraid to be afraid. Thank you.